Okay guys, Delta One here. It's quite bright out hot. So what have I been up to for my long absence? Well, no, for those that have asked, no, it is not because of the truck. It's right here. She's been operating just the way she always has. Um, the issue that I've had was I was editing videos at work and we had a power outage all during the beginning of this week and um, it kills my hard drive um, which I found interesting that it killed it because it should have been able to operate on its own battery once it went out but uh, come to find out we had um, I, after the first power outage I never got a chance to go back to the um, to the office so on, on my end, in my, in my area of my plant, I work at is pretty much the, well, we call it the engine room. Um, primarily, it's where all the electricity goes through um, the plant, as, where, as well as water, air, and everything else. So, basically, my job is to keep the plant cool, keeping it water, keeping it air, uh, electricity, pretty much everything. So even the smallest issues with electricity in the um, in the service line or into the I'm trying to pick a word that I know people that don't know what a service line is would know what it is. Um, essentially, the power that comes from the city is the service line, and. The smallest amount of imperfection in that line, smallest jump in electricity, we will see that. And uh, the issue that we have is uh, on my end, I won't see, I won't really see, uh, sorry, I just finished working on a car, so that's another thing. Um, I won't see in the rest of the plant they won't see the lights flicker or anything they won't they won't see anything um, but in the engine room the lights will flicker or the uh, compressor will shut down things like that um, well as I was working with the rest of the plant trying to get them back up the power went down for the entire plant about from multiple, multiple times on and off from 11.55 to 1.30 or 1.10 in the morning. So, though, I, I want to say it went down about maybe six to eight times. Well, in between those six to eight times, the lights were actually going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out uh, in the engine room, but I was never there. So, it may have went eight or nine times in the actual plant, but in the engine room where I'm at, it was roughly going, it had went off by at least 15 to 20 times. Uh, well, that killed my battery that was going to it. And what it did was it, sh it shorted out, I checked this with my meter, it shorted out the um, power supply. And the power supply shorted out, well, actually it was like this. The... I see. We had in our office a three hundred dollars surge protector battery pack reserve thing. It shorted that out. It shorted out my power power brick, and it shorted out my laptop. Um, it's an Alienware laptop. The motherboard and everything's fine. I had to put a new hard drive in it, re-upload my software. All my video was gone. And to add insult to injury, I had to put a timing belt in a uh, 2010 Hyundai Accent, which, by the way, those things are like gravy train of timing belts. Um, but the timing belt had already, like, it was still in time. I don't know how. But it had it had upwards of six to eight inches of teeth missing on the belt, so it was out of time. And it, I don't know how the person driving it didn't hear the belt or the valve train go crunch, 
Um, but there's no compression on this engine at all. This thing is literally done. It's out. It's through. I can turn the entire crankshaft by hand with no tools with my bare, with one hand, I can turn the entire crank. So there's no, with the spark plugs in it, no compression. Um, so I had that. And while I was doing that, I, um, put my phone in the, uh, slot here. Now, my truck is also used for, like, like I said, uh, I do mechanical work as well. Um, typically, it's for uh, service calls. Um, it's, it's what I had my other Ram set up for. My other Ram was set up for roadside, which is why I didn't care what it looked like or anything like that. Um, However, we now need a vehicle. I use my own personal vehicle because we only have like eight service vehicles. And uh, one of them is always broken down or for some reason. And I'm usually always in my own truck anyway. Um, I get paid for my miles. Uh, I service my own truck so I know what its condition is anyway. Um, so basically, I service my own truck. But if there's any kind of major failure with it, um, they'll handle if it's, if it happened while I was on call. Um, but I left my, my, there's my mic. Um, that was also somewhere up there and it fell and it fell onto this phone, which was in the, uh, ast well in the drink holder. Well, when it did, it fell onto the side of this phone, and literally, there's a line completely off the screen. Um, only in certain modes does the screen look fine. Other than that, it's like always flickering. Um, I just got, well, I didn't say I just got it. Today, all of a sudden, it started wanting to act right, so I figured I'd shoot a video. I've already gotten a replacement phone uh, on order. It'll be here Monday, so I have to deal with the big crack on the side till Monday. Um, I'm not too upset about it. I'm I'm not okay. I'll put it this way: I am upset about it. I'm not devastated about it because this phone needed to be uh, replaced anyway because I had already broken it on the bottom where there's a big line about right there on the on the on the actual glass screen of the phone. Um, now it's a big gash on the side of the phone here and it's spider webs all the way out and there's a, a pixel, two pixel lines that are about here that goes all the way around, across. Um, my only issue that I'm gonna be, that I'm, that I'm actually devastated about is the fact that it's gonna get here and I won't be able to put one of the uh, screen protector, my white stone, white, don't always white stone. Yeah, my white stone dome glass screen protector on it because I won't make it here before it does. So, woohoo. Anyway, uh, that's where I've been. That's what's been going on. Um, I've just been having mishap after mishap after mishap. Um, the actual car deal was a, a last minute ordeal, which is why that was kind of messed up. Um, Uh, which is why that's kind of up in the air on what happened. Um, if this wasn't live recording, I would be able to input the pictures of the job I did with the, uh, the job and the diagnosis that I did with the uh, accent, but I can't. Um, I, I, I am still having one issue with the truck, but it's the same issue I've been having. And, well, actually, I had one, but I don't know. If, I think this has got to be a blue, a, a Uconnect deal, not a actual it being in a flood deal. Um, at one point yesterday, the Uconnect failed to connect to my phone. It would not accept my phone as being Bluetooth at all. Um, but that's probably because of... I don't know why. I, I really don't. I, can, I can't, for the life of me, figure out why. Um... But, oh, it's doing the flickering thing again. Lovely. Um, but, 
what I had the other day was the HVAC system. What it would normally do is it cycles periodically while the car is off. So I can turn the car off, I can go inside, I can leave and whatever. And it will periodically still actuate the motors, which I think has got to have something to do with the uh, modules, which is why I'm going to get another one of those. It's going to be the whole screen replacement instead of the just the HVAC module. Well, here's the thing. For when I get in the truck, it always starts over again and reactuates with the uh, defrost timer flashing, letting you know it's in the uh, diagnostic mode. Well, it stayed in diagnostic mode. It would not leave, and it would not actuate any of the doors at all. So, what I had to do is I had, which if I pulled out the uh, Altel, it would tell me that it's got a code in the HVAC module. So basically, you pull the entire dash. Um, cover off or your center console cover off reach back behind the hole because the radio stays and you unplug the HVAC module and just plug it back in and then you put the entire assembly back on and then it recycles and then it stops um, don't know why um, I unplugged and replugged in the um, module that I know should be the culprit and it still does it but if I unplug and plug the uh, uh, HVAC module it stops I'm starting to lose complete picture now guys so I have no idea where the camera's facing I don't know um, but we are going to try to I'm gonna wait for everybody to get on and uh, if no one gets on today we're going to put the battery back in that and we're gonna try to put some fuel in it and we'll be taking that to work um, when it don't rain uh, to give the old ram a rest um, I've been driving the Pathfinder I don't know if you guys if it's where well, you guys can see it I have no idea um, so we're going to try to do that and I'm really upset about my phone so I don't know um, the update is with the with the uh, light bar um, I'm talking with the service crew we have several several light bars that we don't use um, I've talked to my lieutenant um, he says I could have any one of those light bars that are not in use anymore because they don't use them the problem is that those light bars have been like hack job to get out of the cruisers and out of the uh, service trucks so essentially I've, I've got to sort through them and see what I can get and what I can't get and what I can make work when I make can't. Um, but I'll make a video, a vlog about uh, about that for a light for the roof of the truck uh, at another time. But I got to get in here and get some stuff organized and um, see where everybody is so we can know what we're going to do if we're going to fix bikes today and then uh, do whatever or what. I got to find out. So, uh, Peace.